Hello friends, this is Tamara and we are here today for Hardcore Vinyasa Yoga. We're going to be working out outside, enjoying the sunshine and the nice cool weather. Feel fall is rolling in and I'm so ready for it. So for today's class, just be prepared for a high intensity yoga vinyasa workout and also know that you can modify at any time. So if there's any exercise that doesn't feel right for you or that it's just you're not feeling it today, don't worry, skip it, modify, dance it out, do whatever you need to do. If you're watching this recording afterwards, just, you know, scroll forward. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what else you'll need? You'll just need an open space. So it can be indoors, uh, preferably just move the furniture out to the side and clear the, the floor. Um, roll out your yoga mat, a blanket, a towel, whatever you need to make the floor surface comfortable. Um, do keep something for your knees, some padding for your knees. So it can be that towel or that blanket rolled up uh, or on top or in addition to your yoga mat. We're gonna have, we're gonna, I'm gonna play music from our friend Soul Rising. So we'll have that in the background and um, let's rock and roll. So let's start in a comfortable seated position. I'm just gonna sit on my yoga block, but you can sit on a cushion or a rolled up blanket, whatever you have nearby to make your hips a little bit higher than your knees. We'll just take a moment here to ground and center before we get moving, which is something that I always like to do and I highly recommend that you get into this habit before you do any um, exerting exercise, is to take this moment to really slow down and check in with your body. So in your seated position, Go ahead and take a few deep breaths to settle down. And let's take a few breath movements. So on your inhale, reach the arms up. Really expand, 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 reach, reach, reach long. Exhale, release. Two more. And as you're breathing and extending and reaching out, feel the rib cage, feel the spine, feel the shoulders. Now keep your left fingertips on the floor. Inhale, take the right arm up and over. Exhale to come to center. Inhale to the other side. Repeat twice on each side. And as you're taking these big, big breaths and stretching over, feel. Check in. How does your neck feel today? Inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, twist, reach for your opposite knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale to the other side. Repeat twice to each side. How does your spine feel? How do your hips feel? And 
coming back to center. Let your hands rest on your thighs. Close your eyes for a moment. And feel your whole body. Scan your body. Notice any place where there's tension. And also notice any place that feels really good. Just take a moment to acknowledge that. And we're not only checking in with our physical body, also check in with your emotional body, your energetic body, the more, the more sensitive, subtle parts of our beings that are not so easy to feel. So we stay still, we sit quietly, and we close our eyes to really feel deeply into all aspects of ourselves. And I'll give you 10 breaths in silence to do that self check-in. Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth. And softly open your eyes. Let's take one more big breath, reaching the arms up. And exhale, release. Interlace your fingers and press the palms up. Reach, 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 reach. And now take your rib cage in circles. Count about five circles in each direction and then change. Release. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders back. Open the chest. Deep breaths opening the chest. And now softly take your head from side to side. Very slow feeling, sensing, and release. Inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, wrap your arms around you, reach for the edges of your shoulder blades. Take another deep breath. And on the exhale, bring your elbows down, round your back, roll in. Inhale, open up. And now the other arm on top. Reach for the edge of the shoulder blades, big breath. And exhale, belly in, round your back, fold in. And inhale, open up and release. Let's come off of our seat and leave that. If you have a yoga block nearby, you can leave it out to the side. Shake out your legs. Make circles with your ankles and spread your toes. Go in both directions. All right. And I'm 
going to play us some music. Okay, let's come to our mats. All fours. Spread your fingers, connect to the floor, and take your hips in circles, moving your spine. there use your toes your right toes to keep your balance reach long 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 take a deep breath and exhale knee to elbow and let's do five times really inhale and reach long exhale squeeze in and bend the knee catch the foot it into your hand. Release. Back to all fours. Wiggle it out. Come into downward dog. Pedal it out. Back to all fours. Second side. Right leg. On your inhale, press that heel up, arch the spine, exhale, squeeze it in. Keep going with your breath, let's do five.
Change direction. to opposite elbows and sway side to side. Release, bend the knees, roll your spine up to standing. Once more to each side. Exhale, release the arms, turn the toes out. Bend the knees and bring your hands to your knees. Let your hips hang here. Back into the power of the legs and 
shoulder to opposite knee. Side to side. Two more. up, turn your thumb down, bring the arm behind your low back, slide your fingers between your hip and your thigh, maybe grabbing onto your thigh, you can also just grab your pants, inhale, extend the spine, and exhale, reach for the opposite ankle for a twist. Deep breaths, let your head hang.
and walk it back to center. Deep breath, extend the spine and fold in. to plank with your feet together squeeze everything to the midline keep your hips level with your body and bend your elbows only halfway and press it back up two more keep the chest open keep the shoulders back downward dog Forward to plank. Separate your feet hip width apart. Turn your heels to the right. Open the left arm. And bring your 
left foot into tree pose. Test it out. Maybe lift the knee and hold it with your left hand. Release, second side. Open the chest, stretch it out. Release, and right arm up, bend the elbow, and with the left hand, help the arm to go back. Press your head back into that arm. Left thumb down, wrap it around behind you. And grab your fingertips if you can reach them. If you can't, grab your fingertips here. You can use a band or a scarf or a towel. about you guys but I'm sweating okay sit down hold your knees and find the little tripod at the base of our body the two sit bones and the tailbone and lift your toes off the ground so you're really nice and stable in that tripod Start to bring your shins parallel to the floor, arms also parallel to the floor, and it's okay to hold the back of the knees if you need a little bit more support. Now slowly tap one foot at a time, alternating to tapping the floor. Keep your belly in, spine extended, and remember if you need a little bit more support, you can hold back of the knees until we build up to that. If you're, okay, if you're okay, just keep it free. Tapping. Do two more to each side. And hold. Extend the legs. Come low, low, low. Deep breath, and bring it back up. You can do this with free hands or support, holding the thighs and sliding your hands up your thighs. Otherwise, go for it free. Slow and control. Wide. It's 
the good one. Okay. So we're gonna add a little spice here. Keep the feet about hip width apart. Bring the hands to the floor behind you. Lift the hips. And then lower the hips. Lift the arms, lift the legs. If you wanna keep them extended, that's great. Otherwise, keep it bent. Depends how you feel in your low back. So keep it in a place where it's challenging, but it's not hurting. So there's a good amount of, of effort that is a little bit intense in the muscles, but we don't wanna feel sharp intensity in the joints or in the spine, especially the low back. So keep alternating. Let's do three more of these. to be too intense in the wrist joint. I know we've been on our wrist a lot. Another option is to make fist and come up onto your fist if your wrists are feeling a little tired. Bring up the hips. Squeeze the glutes, belly in. And lift one leg, then the other. Oh yeah. Keep it going. We're gonna do five. Breath. And knee 
other the body to the opposite side. Extend the leg across. Back heel down, lean onto the left hand, open the right. And reach it up and over. to your belly. Whew. Make a pillow with your hands. Shake the hip side to side. Shake the feet side to side. there for now on the right side so your chair your block 
your support on the right side. Inhale, reach up. Take your right wrist, pull it back. And release to side angle. Reach the left arm up. Left hand down, right arm up. Reverse warrior. And side angle. Now bring both hands to the floor, to 45 degrees to your left. Reach your fingertips forward and take your hips back, way, way back. Release the head. Bring the right hand down to the floor. Inhale, left arm up, thumb down, and wrap your arm around your low back and maybe grab onto your thigh or your pants and then walk your right hand towards the right foot. So here are my left fingers are holding onto my thigh here. And open up, open the chest, look up. Now I'm gonna come close and show you what this looks like from behind. also be grabbing onto your pants. That's all right too. I'm going to stay a little bit closer to y'all. There's my support. Here's my hand wrapped behind. I'm enjoying this stretch. Now check it out. Find that support and take your left leg up. Slow, control. Strong in the core. Open your chest. Find your balance. Release the back arm. Extend it up for half moon. Bend that top foot, catch it with your hand, and kick the foot into your hand. And enjoy. Back to warrior two. All right, second side. How did that go? Now, if you don't have that yoga block, you can use the wall. Your hand can be over here. Same, same. Or the hand can be on a chair. Let's go to the second side. I'm just gonna leave that in preparation, warrior two, to the left. Inhale, reach up, take your left wrist and pull it back. Back to center and side angle with your elbow on your knee. Come back up, right hand down, left arm up and over, reverse warrior. And back to side angle. And bring your hands, both hands to the floor, about 45 degrees away from the left foot. And walk your fingertips forward, hips back, extend the spine. your hands back underneath you. Keep the left hand on the floor. Inhale, open the right arm up, thumb down, wrap it around your low back, and sneak those fingers to grab the thigh or your pants, and then take the left hand towards the left foot. Open the shoulders, open the chest.
patient, just like me. <laughs> Find your balance, little by little. <laughs> this side is more challenging for me. There you go. Interesting. Very interesting. hand to the floor, lift the hips up. Bring it back down towards the extended leg. You can support your head here with your hand. Everything softened for a few more breaths here in Pigeon. 
coming back to the sensing, the scanning, the checking in. Feel your body now. What does it feel like after all that we've done? the extended leg can support the head or take it a little bit deeper Remember, you can bring a, um, a cushion, a towel under your hips to relieve a little bit of the intensity of the pose. Take a moment here to ease your way in. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bow in. Let's do two more. Keep the foot flexed. Now drop it. Deep breaths here, releasing the body, scanning, feeling. What does the body feel like now?
chin to bring under the knees, that would be great. Just let yourself melt into the floor. Welcome to stay resting for as long as you need to, feeling your body, scanning, sensing, practicing that ability to really feel what's happening inside, to really recognize what's true for you, what's real in our body is an amazing gateway to that sensing. Thank you very much for following. See you soon. I'll be here again live tomorrow and Friday, almost every day. So I hope to see you guys around. Send me a note, a message. Let me know how you like these classes. All right, everyone. Have fun out there. Ciao, ciao.